What's up guys? I've got nickels and pennies today. I'm trying to decide which I wanna open up. I think I'm gonna go with pennies. So let's go ahead and open this up. I got my little trusty knife there. Half dollar make you holla. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Hopefully they are circulated. Come on, circulated please. Those are circulated guys. Let's pull them out and see if we have any enders. All right, I moved everything over into this box so we could see what we got. Uh, I didn't see any enders on this side, but we're gonna flip them over. I see a lot of copper, a lot of copper enders, so I'm happy about that. Let's flip this baby over and see if we can get an ender. All right, let's see, come on, ender. Anything? All right, I don't think that is. Uh, I'll double check that one. Nope, it was a log cabin. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. We are off to a good start, guys. Very first roll, I got uh, Weedy in our very first roll. I already pulled out one copper out of here and put it in uh, my uh, copper cup. Let's see what we got here. It was a 1961D. Uh, this one looks fairly worn, but I'm going to say 40s or 50s. Let's see what it is. 44, uh, it's not gonna have an RPM, but let's put it under the scope anyway and just check it out and look for any type of errors. Let's check around the edges. See if we have any die breaks or any like lamination peels or die chips. Doesn't look like it. And let's check the head for any cracking, nothing there. All right, doesn't look like there's gonna be anything there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Just got weedy number two right there. Let's double check and see if there's anything else real quick. Because I didn't look through everything yet. Nope, that is not one. All right, I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Hopefully we can get an old one here. Come on, give me an oldie. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be that old. I'm guessing 40s and 50s. 53, 1953 D. Put it under the scope. Okay, at first I thought there might be a little bit of uh, something going on there, but I don't think there is. Don't see any die chips. Let's take a look around the face of it real quick. Looks pretty normal. No die chips over there. No cracks, so. I think we have a pretty good box going here. I'm still, I look at all these rolls I still have. I barely got started, guys. I've already got number three right there. Boom. Let's see if there's anything else. I didn't notice anything, but I didn't want to touch it. Oh, what's that? Nope, that is not, all right. Nope, that's gonna be it. Let's check it out and see what we got this time. Come on, we need something older. What's going on there? Oh, I thought I saw some, an error, but I think it's normal. All right, let's flip it. 1954, looks pretty normal, but we're gonna check it anyway. You always wanna check for those RPMs. 1954, look for uh, die chips. Don't see any die chips. All right, nope, looking pretty normal. Literally my next roll i saw an older looking coin i flipped it over boom it had the wheat scent and then i saw this let me double check this one this one looked funky do you see that rim looks real high on this side looks like it's a really high rim on that side but not on that side interesting all right anyway i'll set that one aside let me take a look at this one first this one looks like it's probably going to be 40s and 50s again if i had to guess whoa almost in the 30s Almost in the 30s. Let's take a little quick look at this. 1940. See if there's anything we can spot. Go around the edges. Doesn't look like I see anything. All right. No uh, errors that I can spot. Two rolls later, guys. I have something extra awesome for this roll. Look at this. We got one right there. This one looks like it could be older. And look at this, I spotted this one as well. 
This one was date side up. Let's take a look. It is 1947 Denver, 1947 Denver. Let's put that under the scope real quick and see what we got. Oh, it's an S mint mark. Look at that. S mint mark. Boy, that thing is pretty torched, but that's all right. We'll take it. 1947 S. All right, let's see what our other one is. Let's put this down there. There's one, two, three, four, five. So we have six already. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This one looks pretty worn. All right, let's flip it. Three, two, one, give me 1909. Oh, we're in the 30s. We're in the 30s, 1939. Let's go. 1939. Let's take a look here. Boy, it's pretty rough shape. All right, I will take it. We're in the 30s. Hopefully we can go a little bit lower. I just spotted another one. It took me a second. It was head side up. I've already pulled out two coins. I went through and pulled out a couple coppers. Let's see what this one is. This is literally the next roll. We are killing it in this box. This one looks pretty good. I'm going to say 40s or 50s, probably 50s if I had to guess. Oh, 45, 1945, no mint mark. Uh, let's just check it real quick. Make sure there's nothing we're missing. Didn't look like there was anything going on on this one, but we'll always check. All right. All right, guys, I finally got another one. It's been a while. This one was date side up, and I flipped it, and it had the wheat scent. What is that? 79. All right, that's copper. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, this one looks funky. This one looks funky. The, that rim looks really worn there on the bottom. All right, let's see what we got. Three, two, one. 48, 1948. Why does this thing look so weird? It just looks funky. I don't know why. Uh, but it's a 1948. Doesn't look like I see any RPMs. I don't know why. It just looked weird to me. But everything looks pretty normal. That's going to be a, a fairly common coin. All right, guys. The last roll of the box. The box really slowed down, but the last roll is giving us something at least. Looky right there. We got a little something right there. Let's see if we have anything else. Take a look. There's copper. Well, if anything, at least we got one at the very end. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else in there, but let's check it out. All right, last one, last one. What's it going to be? This one looks pretty normal. 1951. Let's check for uh, any RPMs. And unfortunately, no RPMs that I can see. I didn't see any die chips. Look over here, no die chips there. So it's gonna be a fairly common coin. But look at this, guys, we got quite a few. We got the 51D, 48D, 45. We got a 39, a 44, a 53D, and a 54, and a 40, and a 47. So quite a few, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the box. That's pretty awesome, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. As always, happy hunting.